about devotion. Um, a lot of people talk about loyalty and they think rewards, incentive, points and the others. But Collinson has, taken to, uh, has chosen to take a stand where we refer to it more as devotion because that's really what you want with your customers. Um, and in order to do that, for any kind of an emotional relationship to happen, you need to develop an understanding about people. And that's the bottom line. If you understand people and then you apply technology and the others to deliver it in a more relevant way. And that's where we use big data and digital and, um, you know, to drive exactly that. You know, um, a lot of brands in the region tell us, you know, when they talk to us, they said, okay, AI means I need to put a chatbot or artificial intelligence means that I need to do one particular activity. But I think the way to look at big data and artificial intelligence is that there are a number of business purposes, right? So if you talk about a retailer and their store experiences, as a customer, what do I want? I want easy checkout. So like the Amazon pay and go, right? Uh, if you talk about as a customer, when I want to walk into the store, what do I want? I want the dresses in the right sizes to be stocked up. Um, what else do I want? When I go to the checkout area and everything, I want the store managers to know and the staff know that I'm a regular and I come here often and I buy these kind of things. I like these colors or, you know, I was here last maybe two months ago and, um, and apply that kind of knowledge and insight to drive things to us. Um, so what we've done at Collinson is for a number of our own products, but equally for our clients. So in our own products, we're trying to bring that kind of artificial intelligence to drive this. So um, to give you an example, in um, Priority Pass, which is one of the leading lounge products in the region, we've just uh, partnered with Locust Labs to give it uh, a wayfinding sort of an experience. So when you download the Priority Pass app and you are at the airport, you can actually virtually see the way towards the lounge. Um, similarly, We've applied uh, things like chatbots and the others to, uh, to enable a better customer service and experience to our Priority Pass customers. So if you're on the Priority Pass app and you're sort of thinking, oh, is there hot food in the lounge and the others, you can type a message out and it's serviced by a chatbot. But there's a seamless transfer from the chatbot into the uh, human interface if there is a challenge with that. So while as we're developing these on our products and that side of the business, we're bringing all of those experiences to our clients and brands who are trying to do similarly for their programs and for their initiatives. So, you know, talking about some of the things that we're talking, big data, artificial intelligence, all of these things which were previously left in the space of uh, sci-fi movies and, you know, I mean, everybody thought, oh, it's never going to happen, it's never going to hit the market and so on. Um, I think today, if you look at it, uh, the, the, the three parts of the thing in terms of payments, you know, when you actually check out and the others and all of that is possible through digital wallets and seamlessly and everything has happened. Um, the environment around being able to store and manage tons and tons and terabytes of data in terms of big data, the ability and the needs and demands of the consumer to be quite real time has all actually come together in a very nice way. So I think in terms of uh, for the brands, the time is right and this is the time where you have not just the thinking but the right tools and technologies available and some easy pilots and learnings as well to learn from. And it's not going to go away, you know, so we don't have, we all don't have the answers, there's no perfect solution to things. I think the important bit is that we need to take the first steps in whatever way possible to sort of learn. We all are learning in this space, it's all quite new and we just need to take that first step and I think that's what my, I'd advise the brands in the region to do.